Welcome to In the Circle is presented by Rawlings and Rawlings is the official softball of the Missouri Valley Conference and the NCAA Championships. Rawlings, the mark of a pro. And today on In the Circle, we're gonna chat and catch up with Coach Matt Mundell, who is the head coach of the Evansville Purple Aces. And coach, looking at your schedule, nice start, 13 and one, and uh, you're doing it with a squad. Uh, it's a young squad, 10 freshmen if I did my my counting correctly. So did you expect this kind of start from uh, this young team? Uh, yeah, honestly, no, right? Uh, yeah, you're right. We're a very young team, uh, 10 freshmen, only two seniors. So uh, yeah, the start that we've had has been unbelievable. Uh, they're just finding ways to win, right? Like it's, uh, you know, in sports, you got, you have to learn how to win and they're doing that in, in almost every way possible right now. So it's really good to see and uh, happy with how they've started for sure. Talk about some of the freshmen that have, have stepped up. Who, uh, who has kind of surprised you and who did you out of that freshman group maybe expect to step in and play right away? Yeah, you know, so we uh, we started as many as six freshmen in a single game. Uh, so, yeah, we, we've got quite a few that are contributing, uh, you know, behind the plate. Uh, we've got a couple fresh three freshman catchers that have been in. Uh, Taylor Howe has been our leadoff hitter for us. Uh, she's caught, been DP. Uh, she's doing a great job uh, setting the table for the offense. Uh, middle infield, you know, we have uh, uh, Sydney and Jess, uh, two uh, freshman middle infielders that have both played short, second up there in the middle. Uh, Lacey Smith in right field has made uh, some highlight catches for us out there, uh, playing great defensively. Uh, another freshman, uh, uh, Ellie um, Jarrett in the circle, pitcher for us. So, yeah, we've had quite a few. Uh, they, they've all been able to contribute in different ways. And it's really good to see them get that experience, uh, you know, early in their careers. Well, one of your experienced players has already been named player of the week uh, in the conference, Hannah Hood. And so just talk about her game, how she's improved over the course of her career and and what makes her so good and so special. And she's off to a hard start as well. Yeah, Hannah is uh, is an unbelievable uh, player for us. Right. She uh, as a freshman. She was kind of third base. We moved her into the outfield, uh, you know, there in her sophomore and junior year. She was all Missouri Valley defensive team. Uh, you know, two years in a row as an outfielder. And we moved her back in uh, to the infield this year at third base again. And she's just making unbelievable plays defensively, which, you know, we knew she'd be able to do there. But her bat, she's been really hot, um, just very consistent, uh, very even keeled. You see her, um, you know, kind of just her temper is kind of calm. She's a quiet leader, kind of leads by example. Um, she's a nursing major. She's already got, I think she had six or seven offers already, uh, you know, for jobs. So, uh, it's really cool to see that for her. And I think she's just kind of settled in this senior year and just going out, have fun, and just wants to end her career on a, on a positive note. Well, talked a little bit about your hot start and uh, how you've been playing so well. And and you have hosted a couple of tournaments at your place. So talk a little, that's a lot of work uh, to be able to host back-to-back -back tournaments. And so talk a little bit about the preparation and then how you set the field for those tournaments on back-to-back -back weekends? Yeah, so, you know, big thanks to uh, Orthopedics. Uh, they gave us, uh, uh, donated to have new artificial turf installed, all new padded walls. So, uh, you know, without that, those renovations, we probably wouldn't have been able to host, especially this early in the season. So it's taken a little bit of the, the work off of our table, right, with having, having that synthetic uh, plain surface, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, the support staff here at Evansville has been great to be able to do that. And uh, we kind of set the tournaments up, so we're kind of playing uh, you know, the same teams twice, right? Kind of getting you ready for that Valley play, right? Because, um, you know, when you do that, getting to Valley play, it's the teams that can win, you know, that second and third game, right? Being able to make those adjustments when you've seen a team. Uh, so that's kind of how the tournaments have been a little bit, which has been nice for us. But yeah, a lot of work goes into it, a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of people. Um, but it's been great to be able to, you know, have the girls sleep in their own beds, you know, uh, stay in class, right? Which is a big thing. And then be able to play in front of, uh, you know, a packed crowd here at um, the newly renovated uh, Tri-State Orthopedics Field at James and Dorothy Cooper Stadium. So how did that all come about? When, when did the talk start about that? And, and what, what advantage does that all turf field give to you guys? Yeah, you know, it's been, you know, kind of a two-year process, kind of getting everything lined up and going. And then as soon as last season was is done, they really started the process, the renovations, the, the demo and everything, and didn't get completed till, uh, you know, a few weeks right before the season, actually. So that was uh, kind of good to be able to get that done. But yeah, for us, it's been a huge advantage because we've been able to be outside. You know, Evansville, the weather is usually pretty good. We only get, you know, about eight inches of snow a year. So uh, in the past, the, the infield would just be too wet with that freeze thaw to get out. So 
we've been able to play defense, scrimmage, do those team situations that you can't do on the indoor, right? And most of the time if you're inside, you're just working on hitting. Uh, but we've been able to do a lot of things team-wise that we couldn't before. So I think that's been a really big advantage for us. And, and not again, not having to travel and be home uh, has been huge. So I think that's you know definitely contributed to the hot start for the ladies. Does that help any uh, in recruiting with that new field and, and that new facility? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. I mean, you know, college athletics, right. They, they call it like an arms race. Right. So now, uh, you know, we've kind of got some of the ammunition and we've been telling recruits about it, like I say, for a while. And but now that it's actually done and they can see it. Uh, you know, the teams that have been in so far have nothing but great things to say. Everyone's been, you know, extremely impressed with what they've seen. So I think once the other Valley teams, you know, come in and see it and then, yeah, recruits. I mean, I feel we have, you know, the best facilities now in, in the MVC and probably in the Midwest, honestly. So. Uh, I think, yeah, you're going to see uh, kids wanting to play, you know, on a, on a playing surface and a stadium like like we have now. So uh, another couple of tournaments coming up before we head into Valley play and uh, so a, a new look Valley. We've got some new teams. So you you've been around the league for a while. So how do you see the league stacking up with these new additions to uh, the Missouri Valley Conference? Yeah, a lot of people have been asking that. Right. And I and I tell them all the same thing. I think this is going to be probably the you know toughest Valley top to bottom uh, that I've seen since I've been in the league um, here and going into my, you know, my ninth year, I think, you know, what we added, you know, in all three of those teams, right. With, you know, Murray winning the OVC, Belmont second, uh, UIC, you know, traditionally had won the horizon. So two, three really good softball programs to add. And then obviously with what we already had and the teams, you know, returning a lot of key players, right. For some of those top teams that you saw in that preseason uh, poll, I, I think it's going to be really tough. It's competitive. And then changing the format, right? The, the three game series over the three day, I think uh, everyone's going to be getting a feeling their way out, you know, to see how that, uh, you know, plays, you know, strategy wise and things. But yeah, I think top to bottom, this is probably the best, uh, you know, Missouri Valley that that I've seen in a long time. So I'm excited, uh, you know, for uh, for all the teams to really kick it off. And you, you mentioned the, the three games in three days that you're playing now instead of the doubleheader and the single uh, in conference play. Um, I know there was a lot of discussion back and forth amongst the coaches about do we switch or do we not? Um, where, where do you think the advantage is going to be for teams playing single games three days in a row? You know, I think the real advantage comes for our players, right? Uh, you know, hopefully now they get to, you know, stay in class a little bit. They get more time to recover. Uh, they get more time to, you know, do some things off the field with homework, things like that. So I think just from that standpoint, right, for mental health, I think it's going to be a huge, huge advantage. And then hopefully, you know, your players are fresh and ready to go, you know, when they get those games. So I think that's going to be big. And then, um, you know, I think strategically, you know, with, with softball and having that one game a day, you know, traditionally, if you have that big, big, uh, you know, pitcher in the circle. I mean, maybe she gets to throw a little bit more, right, than in the past because of that rest and things. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be really, really exciting to see. I'm interested to see how it plays out. And you've seen it in some of the other conferences, you know, uh, for the last few years they've been doing it. So um, I think it'll be really exciting for the fans, too, to kind of, you know, not have to be out there on a, on a cold day sitting for a doubleheader, you know. So I think, yeah, hopefully there's more energy in, in the stands and stuff and fans, and hopefully uh, more people will be able to come out to games. Well, Coach, you're, you're off to a great start. Uh, hopefully you'll have continued success and uh, can advance those young freshmen along as the season continues. So uh, thanks for joining us today, and uh, we will see you here very soon. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you having me on. Thank you very much. Thanks, Coach.